Hi, this is Tom Greenwood from sydneyportraits.com.au and greenwoodmedia.com.au. In this clip, we're asking, what is lens flare and how can we apply it to add a creative sparkle to our photography? Lens flare is the effect you get when strong light shines directly into the camera lens. A lens is made up of numerous glass elements. Normally, light will flow through the elements, one by one, before hitting the sensor or film. But powerful direct light will reflect between the elements, effectively bouncing around like a pinball before reaching the sensor. Lens flare can take different forms, depending on the strength and shape of the light and the lens you're using. You'll find cloudy or veiling flare, You'll find rings, streaks, hexagonal or similar shaped blobs of light, and my favorite, starbursts. Lens flare isn't necessarily good or bad. It can look fantastic, really adding dynamism to an image. Or it can simply mess up an otherwise pleasing picture. Bokeh is similar to lens flare, but a little different. Bokeh is caused when highlights in an image are blurred or out of focus. It's a nice effect and works best with a very wide open aperture. So here are some tips on how to experiment with lens flare. It's no secret that early morning and late afternoon are the best times to take photos. That's especially true when using the sun to create lens flare. In the middle of the day, the sun is generally in the wrong place, too directly above and too bright. Remember, Looking directly at the sun, even through a viewfinder, is really bad for your eyes. When the sun is lower in the sky, it's diffused through thick atmospheric layers, making it less blinding and also a warmer, more golden color. Conveniently for photographers, the sun is then also well positioned to make silhouettes. And lens flare works beautifully with silhouettes. Shooting into the light confuses the autofocus on your camera. It's best, therefore, to duck into shadow, focus on your subject using autofocus, switch to manual focus, all the while maintaining the same distance between camera and subject, and then shooting. Similarly, shooting into the light confuses the auto exposure on your camera. So set your mode wheel to M, and apply ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Personally, I find lens flare works best when shooting with a wide-angle lens. That way, the lens flare doesn't dominate the shot, but becomes one feature in a larger picture. It's also when you get the most dramatic results. For crazy lens blur, use a lens with a really round front element. These images were shot at 16 millimeters with my 16 to 35 mil lens. You can actually see the curvature of the front of the lens in the lens blur. The smaller the light source shining into the camera, the more defined the light flare. If you want to create starbursts, try obscuring part of the sun behind your subject. Moving the camera just an inch or two in any direction will change the shape of the light and therefore the lens flare. Generally, a zoom lens will create a broader, more blurry lens flare, and a fixed or prime lens will create a more defined one. This is because there tend to be fewer elements in a fixed lens than a zoom, and therefore less opportunity for the light to bounce around. Cloudy or veiling flare produces quite a pale, washed out look. I generally find it necessary to really boost the shadows in post-production, in Lightroom or Photoshop, to give the image some definition. My final tip is, take lots of shots. Lens flare is not an exact science. You'll probably find most of your shots won't work, but you may get a few corkers too. And remember, the fun is in the experimentation. So good luck and happy shooting.